Hi, I'm Joe Dante for Trailers from Hell. A while ago, Trailers from Hell guru Edgar Wright held another one of his series of screenings at the New Beverly Theater in Los Angeles. Uh, he, Edgar's done a number of these series, as have I. And this time, the subject was pictures that Edgar had never seen. Uh, and one of them uh, was one of my favorites, To Be or Not To Be. And it was very interesting sitting watching this 70-year-old movie with a packed house laughing their asses off. Uh, it, it played like gangbusters. And it, it, just, it just reminded me that uh, you really haven't seen a comedy until you've seen it with an audience. This is a brave, angry film at heart, and a great one. You can see that this aimless trailer is struggling to sell a hot potato. Not only was the star, the brilliant Carol Lombard, dead, killed in a plane crash two months before the premiere, but the subject matter, a comedy about a Warsaw Shakespeare troupe using their vainglorious talents to foil the occupying Nazis, was considered to be an impossibly bad taste. America had entered the war while the film was in production, and jokes about the Gestapo and concentration camps were pretty shocking to 1942 audiences. But Lubitsch juggles the comic and tragic elements perfectly. He had written the lead role of that great, great Polish actor, Joseph Tura, especially for Jack Benny, and he's amazing in it, as is Lombard. Sig Ruman has his greatest role as the alternately funny and menacing concentration camp Earhart. And the rest of the actors are impeccably cast, especially Stanley Ridges as a double agent, Professor Stoletsky, and Lionel Atwell as a ham actor. Mel Brooks remade this in 1983, but it lacks the ballsy immediacy that makes the Lubitsch version so impressive. This trailer aside, there's only one to be or not to be.